The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat in four sides. Mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corner beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info this man needs medical attention holmberg's morning sickness the old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in see that's what makes this fart show better than all the others (laughs) heady discussion back and forth and you can yell at me and disagree all you want i don't care i I'm, i'm gonna hear you couple of people that are like, no, it's wrong. I'm like, good. That's that's called a discussion. We've lost the we've lost Facebook and Instagram have made it so you don't have discussions anymore. You throw your opinion out, you put a period on it, you hit send and it's over. Add a troll in there or two. Uh, well you don't read those. You just skip the dissension. You guys are simply wrong. Michael Jordan literally retired while under contract because he was too stressed. Mm. Mm. Read into that one. Well you know what? There's some other things. Had he said that at least he won the championship and retired. Right. He didn't do it in the middle of the championship. And also, you know who gets heat for that? Uh, Scotty Pippen. You don't give me the ball, I'm not playing. Remember? Oh, yeah. When yeah, Michael yeah, yeah. wasn't there. And and I was a huge Pippen fan. Drew up, that, a, drew up a yeah. play for t- Tony Kukoc instead and won't play. It's the last play of the, the series. In the game seven against the Knicks, I think. Mm-hmm. If I don't get the ball, I'm not playing. And his teammates are like, what's Question, going on? Does Pippen tell it the same way? Well, yeah, he says he it was does. a racist thing. Phil Jackson. I know he's got his uh, little retort. He said Phil it's Jackson's a, a racist and drew up a play for the white guy. And maybe that's true, but you don't let that. You played a whole season with the racist, and you seem to be okay with it until he said, "I want Tony to take the shot. I think he's going to be open." And might have been might have been what's best with him, and he quit. You re-signed your contracts. You went yeah. through all those championships with yep. the racist. So. Yeah, exactly. And then when you didn't get your way, it just you know we've been bashing guys for this for a long time. So anyway, it's interesting. There you go. Brady, it's your turn now. All this on Wings Day. Come on, people. <laughs> we have a good Wings Day. Like, it's not Wings Day today because tomorrow, I should have put this on a Wednesday. Tomorrow is National Chicken Wing Day. Hooters and Mick Ultra bring you the Brady Report and want you to know that it's time to rate National Chicken Wing Day. Buy any 10 wings and get 10 boneless wings for free. Wash them down with a Mick Ultra draft any day Thursday only at Hooters. You're having mental stress? National Chicken Wing Day will fix that. Oh, yeah. Brady, if you're up for it, and I don't know where, how you're feeling or what's going on, yeah, I'd like you to do a Brady report now. So please, Brady, report it. Good Wednesday morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, world. Happy National Milk Chocolate Day. I like that stuff. That'll get you in the mood. And save a lizard. A <laughs> couple of baseless fun facts. Salvador Dali. Once conned Yoko Ono into paying $10,000 for a blade of grass. Yoko had offered to pay that amount for one of his mustache hairs. Ew. Because he had that long. Had a weird, crazy mustache. Yeah. But he secretly substituted the blade of grass because he thought Yoko Ono was a witch and might use his <laughs> hair in a spell. Jesus. He isn't wrong. Awesome. That's Yoko's best. Awesome. Stuff. Although I have to say. It might be better than whatever that new Kanye thing is. Oh, yeah, we got a little taste of that. How did Kanye West auto tune himself out of tune? <laughs> How do you do that? Have you heard? Have any you heard the thing? No, his Donda I, song. I do not like Kanye. <laughs> broke at all. the internet. I don't like Kanye at all. I don't understand why he's brilliant in people. I guess he had a couple of early albums that everybody's like he's great, but I mean, so did Pearl Jam, and nobody's saying that they're, you know, I the forgot to figure out what ever Donda to is. Is that a? I don't know. It's a thing where he probably calls himself God. Where? Something. Oh, that, that's but uh, don't they? Yeah, he did this thing on uh, Apple, and four million people watched it. It was a one-off. It was no repeat performances, and he sang a couple of songs off his new. He's living in the Superdome. I was going to say, was it? At- <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, is it at Superdome yeah. or is it the well, one? Oh no, in Atlanta? it's Atlanta. You're right. Yeah, it's Atlanta, no, it it's Atlanta, Atlanta. Mercedes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're both Mercedes. Right. Whatever. Yeah, you're right. It's the Atlanta one. He's living in a little tiny room at the at the Atlanta <laughs> uh, Mercedes Benz dome. Yeah. Why is that? Because he's Cause nuts. He's weird. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know if there was. But he went out. I thought on they were stage. recording it there. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Or that was his dressing room or something. They're setting up like record. He's doing the whole album there. It's inspired by the Falcons' home. So, and he went out on stage and did this song, and it's all auto tuned, but it's out. It's all flat, like they auto tuned it out of key. So why bother? It's and the song's just brutally bad. When someone is in the dark for a long period of time, their sleep schedule adjusts to thirty six hours awake, then twelve hours of sleep. Scientists have no idea why. Yeah, remember they stuffed those people in the yep. in the cave, and they said you have no natural sunlight, and they were sleeping eight nine hours and staying up for thirty something. Within a couple weeks. It didn't take long before they were on the schedule of not needing as much sleep as we think we do because the we're on the sun schedule. I know that one. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, that screws yeah. you up. Oh, yeah. you, you hated the sun for you. <laughs> Still do to a point. I'm like, <laughs> man, what is this? It's destroying this my day sleep. how you people do this. Yeah. <laughs> Daytime people are weird. You Louis, had it right. Louis the Nineteenth served as the king of France for 20 minutes. He took over the throne from his father on August 2nd, 1830, thought about it for 20 minutes, decided he didn't want to be king, and abdicated to Henry V. How long? 20 minutes. This is Simone Biles of royalty. Yep. That would be a little too much for me. I don't think I'm mentally up for this whole king thing. <laughs> a lot different. He, you Give know, 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. He held it for a while. He gave it a couple of pops. Didn't work out. You move on. The song Manamana is associated with the Muppets. It's Rolf the Dog. Originally written in Italy in 1968 for a soundtrack of a soft corn, soft core porn. Corn movie? Yeah. Soft corn porn. Core you don't want any movie. soft corn in your porn, that's for sure, because then somebody's somebody's not giving themselves that enema and metamucil the day before to clean the area. Didn't use the bidet. No. Ants on a log in the soft corn <laughs> porn. Uh, we have a couple in uh, Vermilion, South Dakota. They just celebrated their 50th anniversary. And uh, Diane and Ed Nesselhoff okay. are their names. And when they got married in 1971, they put a can of Coors in there and said, we'll drink it on our 50th anniversary oh, if we make it. God, dear old beer. <laughs> they cracked it, and they were a little worried. Rust. But they said it actually still foamed up, and it tasted a little sweet. Oof. It's okay, but it, yeah, it would be. Is it, are those it's steel, a steel cans? Can. Yeah. Half century year old Coors. Bank it's the, the water. banquet beer. It's the water from Golden, Colorado, during the Nixon administration. Yuck! This is pretty amazing. Walmart announced um, that they're going to donate one billion dollars to the employees of Walmart. Anyone that wants to get a college education, working at Walmart. They're going to try to pay 100% of the college tuition and books. A billion dollars? A billion bucks. To, all, to, to split amongst the employees that want to go? Or do you have to qualify? Yeah. Well, yeah. that uh, The employees working for Walmart and Sam's Club. Just have to sign up. Yep. What disqualifies you? <laughs> Quitting. <laughs> I suppose not working there. <laughs> Well, they had an nice. existing program that was a dollar per day fee for associates who participate in its Live Better You education program. Didn't Starbucks do that? They were going to pay for college for like a I ton of their employees for a while. And they ended up taking money from their employees to fund that program? They did? I, th- I thought they did. Oh, you're such Somehow, a socialist. Some... <laughs> Always bashing the corporations. Is that what happened? I don't even know. I'm just giving <laughs> How does I'm just that giving work? It's bashing corporations. Starbucks stole from the people that were to college. Socialist. Your boy's at it again. Socialist yeah. bashing a socialist. No. Okay. <laughs> What's socialist about Starbucks? I don't know. Nothing. Okay. They're great. Oh, absolutely. Capitalism. That's the Hoorah! best part. Well, I'll listen to this guy. There goes Toledo Sanders. Uh, at it again. Hey, boys, at it again. Give him an ice cold Coors from 1964. Controversy in the food world. Campbell's changed their tomato soup label for the first time in 50 years. Okay. Oh, Brady, you how right? do you feel about this? You ready for this change? <laughs> What's it say now? The condensed word has been moved. It is in the middle of the label usually. You says condensed above tomato. It, yeah, they put it above, kind of hit, getting know. out of the way. Thanks for the visual. <laughs> he's, he's breaking it down. Here. He pointed up <laughs> on for, the label. In case I'd forgotten what above meant. In case you're Andy Warhol art. Right. Oh, you'll, so you'll now that's the, useless. Yeah. So 
I don't know what it's There's no, a side by side photo, isn't it? They, I think they're trying to move the word condensed out of the way. Why? People weren't buying tomato soup because of that? <laughs> well, no. Again, we don't want them to. That know was that the point someone was making. If something's not. Uh, Let's write the word tomato bigger. There's nothing to be need to be fixed here. I, just, I didn't even know the word condensed was on it. I know. All right, where is it? There. Oh, right there, you'll see it. So no. the condensed, you it's see. It's in on the, the red. It's in the red. Now it's way yeah. up by the by the top. Yeah. And it's a little bit lighter. What yeah. does that even mean? I don't even know what condensed Where's Jake? No, you're taking, this, taking the water out of it. So you got to add water back to oh, it. Gotcha. We gotta do, you still got to do that. It's actually economical for it's the soup better. company to do that. Yeah. I thought that's how you made soup. <laughs> right. I thought that was necessary. Right. No, Progresso, you can go right out of the can. I think you can no take water. the word right off. I think we all know. And even if you made the mistake of no water, it's still just good. Yeah, that's part of knowing that you're making Campbell's soup yeah. is you add a can of water to it. Be a little more pasty. Yeah. And I don't think people who don't know that know what condensed means in the first place. Well, some people Nor are care. upset. Or care, right. 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 It's right. It's like. You didn't tweet about it, Brett? No. A can no. of soup. <laughs> Open that up. I think Jay Cutler did. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> don't Campbell care. soup, you morons. Here's the other thing. If you're a big fan of back in the day of those red Pizza Hut cups, the red plastic cups oh, yeah, Pizza yeah. Hut on, yeah, yeah. they're for sale again. They brought them back from the 90s. PizzaHutShop.com. The the clear plastic The clear. They immediately sold up. Sold out. Yeah. (laughs) They sold up the cups. They said, you're having some trouble. It's not even 10 yet. What's going to happen at 10? He starts speaking his own language. Well, the next one's huge. Popeyes. Oh, it's because he's talking about Just up their uh, chicken nug game. It's nugget. They're now using the same batter. Take a breath. Wow. Hey. They're now using Hold Simone, the you're holding take, hurting take the team. Over, take over, Justin. <laughs> Simone, you're hurting the Step team. Step in. <laughs> Step away. They're using the same batter that they use for the spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. The one that On the crazy. chicken nuggets. Yeah. Okay. Is that going on now? Slow down if you're in the car right <laughs> Is now. There, was there a difference before this? Were they? It was a straight-up batter. Oh. Brady, you got all this news, and these guys don't appreciate all you try to tell them. You tell the player. And then, you know what? Eight piece, Fumble around with as many words as you want. Once you get to the batter part, you as clear as a bell player. <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie's in your corner. And that means no one else fits in there. There's a new thing to figure out if uh, people are swingers or not. Rocks. Evidently, if you have pineapples on your bed. Yeah, we suit. talked about that. That was that pineapple lawyer. Yeah. But that came out in the Pineapple Lawyer when yeah. she did the Suns Old game. news, Brady. Yeah, Brady. Pay attention well, to the show you're on. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying bathing suits, not Pineapple clothes. bathing suits? No, she was, she a, was the she Pineapple was... Lawyer. I mean, she wasn't wearing them on her clothes She had either. pineapples on everything. She was throwing them all over. And, pine- yeah. and that's how we learned. I know you're struggling with memory today. Oh, boy. We got trouble. That's what he told us. Pineapples are a swingers thing. Okay. You're right. There she because... is. You're right. So because these two have pineapples on their bathing suits, that means it's that a means free for all with you. They're DTF. Yep. <laughs> yep. Is that Wintermeyer? <laughs> no, there's no turkey in the picture. Uh, you can't see it, but beach. he does have a beach towel. He is on a beach. <laughs> the guy on a beach, it looks like Tom. The turkey's in it. They're all pineappled up. That means. All right. Game on. Swing on. Katie, bar the door. They're coming in your room. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A doctor in uh, Missouri says people have been showing up in disguises to get the vaccine for the COVID because they don't want <laughs> because they don't oh, want any of their anti-vax oh, friends. They don't want their Trump friends to know. Yep. Oh, America! <laughs> That's great stuff. How unbelievable! Pictures of this? Cowardly is that? I don't think so. Ah, damn it! My friends will never let me hear the end of it. Dress up like a uh, Swedish sailor. My name is Bjorn. <laughs> I don't have you on a list here. God damn it, I'm an American. <laughs> what is your name? I'd rather not say. Put the needle in. Trump's our president. You're a crazy person. Do we have Sir, to have the your, small talk here? Your prosthetic nose is falling off. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Worst part is they're all disguised up like a wizard or Gandalf or something. It's like... Uh, Roger Williams, uh, you're next. I told you not to use my real goddamn name. I'm Gandalf. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, Wallet Hub did some research to find out the best and worst cities in America to flip a house. We got to be number one. I would think. The five best cities to flip Doug a Hopkins. house. Yeah. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Missoula, Montana. Ooh. 
Peoria, Arizona. There you go. Nampa, Idaho, and Tampa, Florida. Huh. So you're getting your best. Well, maybe we are bad for flipping them now because they're so high, even for a 25% yeah. high is the overall average, according to Wallet Hub, right. that uh, Phoenix and... Um, 25% what? Rising uh, rise house, housing value. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we've had a the, the biggest ours jumps. Is more than that. Is no, it? ours. Well, well, they say uh, Phoenix, San Diego, and Seattle saw the biggest jumps at around twenty five percent. Massive. So average. maybe that's why it's bad to flip right now because you wouldn't want to go out buying dumps at this high price. Throw more money right, into right, it. Right. So we are kind of a bad one. The worst: Newark, New Jersey; Oakland, California; Yonkers, New York; San Francisco; Bridgeport, Connecticut. So okay, so you're saying Peoria is a good place. You to get flip good a value right off now. the bat. Gotcha. You can probably get something in Peoria for like two hundred and twenty thousand. Gotcha. Put sixty in and sell it at this astronomical rate, but gotcha. you got to find the great deal. Gotcha. Okay. Although that makes, that makes more. Sense. If you can flip fast, you're going to take advantage of this market. Good luck getting a contractor to call you. Yeah, it's true too. I'm struggling with that. Man. Two men in their fifth run to a fight at an assisted living facility in Florida. The fight was about one wanted to watch Monk. And the other one wanted cartoons. <laughs> Who won? Glenn Hutchinson really wanted to watch Monk, and it was a rerun on Sunday. He got into an argument with 56-year-old roommate all Edward reruns. Davis. That hasn't been on in 20 years. Right, they're all reruns. You don't... I need it's, the it's like, If he says next that the cartoon was being done live, <laughs> then we'll know Brady's completely gone. Glenn got so irate that he whacked <laughs> Edward in the head with an aluminum cane. This is a case only Monk could solve. Edward is in a wheelchair. <laughs> So it might seem like uh, the fight's well, not fair. But now, Glenn okay. told the cops that Edward started it by driving his motorized scooter into his leg. Oh, boy. Then he swung his cane. God damn it. You son of a... <laughs> what was the cartoon he wanted to watch? Didn't say. If it's Rick and Morty or Archer or something, the dude in the chair is up. up he's good. But if it's Tom and Jerry, or <laughs> then the guy with Monk was right. Nah, nah, nah Tom and Jerry's good. Tom and Jerry's terrible. You oh, like Tom, I and love Tom and Jerry? Oh, Tom and Jerry's oh, the yeah, worst. No, that's great. Why? Oh, I hated Tom and Jerry. Oh, that was great. I, I know why you like them. Because <laughs> of that. No, he likes Heckle and Jekyll. What was her name? Mammy, probably. Mammy. Mammy. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Because every once in a while. Thomas. Thomas. Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. <laughs> we got a mouse in the house. Thomas. <laughs> Brett just got, yeah, I love it, that lady. <laughs> Some man should dress up like her and do movies. <laughs> Called it Medea. Some guy in Sri Lanka was uh, digging a well in his backyard. <laughs> yeah. And uh, sorry, just thinking of <laughs> thinking of Mammy. Thomas. Just thinking a little young Brett Vesley sitting there, freshly shaven, eight years old. Got a little sambuka and his three beans <laughs> on the table. He just finished them. They're not a little Tom and Jerry. What do you say, Dad? Uh, you know I like a good Tom and Jerry night. What do you, kid? Thomas. I absolutely love when a maid yells at him. <laughs> so the guy was digging uh, a well and midway down runs into a big rock. They pull it up. There's a picture of the rock. Pretty big. It's like a skull. Split it open. It's the world's largest star sapphire cluster. Found in the backyard. The guy just uh, got $100 million. That's what it's worth. He's going to get it or is Sri Lanka going to come in and like well, claim something? Well, right now they're saying it's, it's worth, worth $100 million. Man, God, 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 God. those are those moments. You just want to dig a pool in your backyard and hope. All we ever hit is caliche. We got a couple of radio videos. The first one is this story about this uh, guy in Russia. He walked a sex shop on Saturday, tried to rob the place, pulled out a small knife and told the cashier to give him the money in the register. Instead, she reached under the counter, pulled out an 18-inch Whoa. Hey. Dong. Oh. And started beating the dude over the head with it. That's actually where we were going. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, expect the like, boss wow. to actually deliver. She yep. ended up chasing him through the store and out the front entrance. With a giant dong. It's not clear if the cops, cops uh, tracked him down afterwards. but Are we have video of the dong attack? Yeah. Mm, good. Is there sound? I don't know. Hang on. Yeah, you don't want to go after somebody who's got access to... Have you, well, the weight of those things. Remember when we stuck that one on Brady's car? You weren't around for that. I have what? We had to drive all the way to Peoria once, and I had an 18-inch black dong with a suction cup on it. 
<laughs> and and just for laughs, I stuck it on Brady's passenger side of his car. And we're driving all the way to Peoria. And Brady leaves. Late! As Brady. <laughs> five, this is, this is five how, pound dog. Yeah, this is how Brady's leaving work. Late! And that's the last you see of him. <laughs> Door true. first. It's, Door yeah, first. It's crazy. Either way. So uh, we watch him drive out in the window, and this dong is flailing. He hasn't looked. We readjusted his mirror, so you couldn't, like, we pushed it away as you can see. And we had to call you. I had to get behind and call, like, hey, Brady, you need to pull over before you get on the freeway. That thing's going to kill someone. <laughs> thing goes <laughs> flying dick, off. Wobbling all over the side. I'm like, we got way too far to drive. That dong had, did double duty that day because you pulled over in the Starbucks and popped it off. Very funny. He was a little mad. <laughs> he made it about a mile. Pull it off, gives it to Toledo and I. We hop in the car. And that was when those red cameras were out. And I sped on purpose and held the dong up and got my picture taken. I still have it framed we at my house. The, we missed the first two, right? Yeah. Well, we were going like 90 yeah. down the I-10, and I'm holding this huge dick in front of my face. All of a sudden, here comes one. Here comes yeah. one. Ready? Ready? Go. Oh, I was blazing. Got that one. And they sent me, the, <laughs> sent me the photo radar. It's in my house in a frame of me holding a big dick. Because you can't identify that. That's clearly not me. Oh, it's great. Highly recommend keeping one of those in your car at all times what, for photo 18 radar. 18-inch king dong? <laughs> yep. Just for photo radar and whatever whatever pleases you. We got another radio video. This is kind of cool. Um, we didn't watch the first one. Yeah, oh, what yeah, happened to the first one? I figured he threw the towel in. He <laughs> no. couldn't get it. He's biles oh, it. Guys were it's called the biles. Oh. oh, here she goes. Here he comes. There's no sound. She's behind the counter. Oh, my. She didn't waste any time. Oh, wow. That thing is. It's a oh white one. Oh, my God. For some reason, I didn't. Ow, I didn't ow, ow, it. Oh, ow. Oh, my goodness. Well, she, she is not fleet of foot. Neither is he. What is the floor? Well, the floor is probably normally sticky. They have, to, John there. they have to mop forgot, it a lot. forgot what we're talking about They have there. to mop it You're a right. lot. So it's probably pretty Look, slippery. She's got the mop right there by the front door. <laughs> they got to mop up tons. <laughs> wow. She went right to it. Can you imagine right. that co- talking to your criminal buddies? I just yeah. got beat up by a dog. <laughs> I'm on a video in the news. I'm going to go to jail. So he went in there with no weapon and just said, give me all the money. With nothing. Yeah. A dong, uh, beaten by a dong. Yeah. And he, he had ran a knife. Away. Yeah, well, <laughs> Foiled by a king I'm going dong. To, uh, Friday when I'm at Tactical Black, we're going to do dong defense. I actually, <laughs> so, J. Todd Himes. I like the idea of t- uh, Tactical Deflect Black. Deflect it with your mouth. Tactical Black dong defense. Sounds yeah. awesome. And speaking of, J. Todd Himes had sent us this, and this goes along one. with what, uh, what you did to Brady. Oh, it's a tiny uh, seven-incher. Slowed it down. Not to say tiny. Slows down, pulls up next to a guy on a moped, and sticks it to his helmet. He's got the suction cup on it. That's fantastic. That's amazing. That is awesome. Totally. Don't send me that video. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He'll come back with two broken arms. I'll do it to man goop. These guys are legit. Stuck it right to the visor of his helmet. Oh, that's hilarious. And I mean, oh, man. Dude the caption takes it. it. Caption of it, what a dick. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Don't try this at home, right. should be the caption. Right. This is not for everybody. Thanks, Jay Todd. That's funny. We got another one of the compilations of the guy going, wee. Okay. And people oh, are that flinging it. That's on your phone. Okay. Guy that goes, wee. Oh, that's not wee. the beatboxing one? We'll, we'll get to the beatboxing at which the end. Oh, that's Which one of the four you sent me is this one? Um, daily parkour fails. Can't be that. It might be. All right, <laughs> just go down it. the line. Just go down the line. <laughs> okay, we'll do that then. You guys need a numbering system. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to get involved in this because then I have to watch the videos yeah. first, and I enjoy I reacting. Think this one might be that one. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, you have to put it all so the computer's going to take forever. Good, we don't have this kind of time. It just drops it. Should be all right. If it, if the airdrop works, well. <sighs> This is garbage. Go back to the dong. Yeah, show yeah, the dong. Say, finally. <laughs> More dong funny. Oh, oh, oh is this? Man. Yeah, oh, that's it. People falling in water. Wee. Oh. Wee. Okay. This is, this oh, Wee. <laughs> these are people. Oh, <laughs> these are people Wee. dying. All right, Brady's getting too big. <laughs> the to dog out. one was funnier. Yeah, the dog was <laughs> yeah, the dog Let's one. not milk it. <laughs> these are just fat people falling he in water. He, yeah. I and like he, it. Yeah, I know you do. You're a child. I like it. Wee. We know. Don't you start. It's, it's going to be close to the what's up if you keep it up. It's one of those things. Yeah. You do it once. Whee. It's only funny once. All right. What's this one? This oh. is the uh, slam oh. dunk difference. The, 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 the this girl, video needs to be everywhere. A girl, girl goes crazy. A girl does a basic dunk at some competition. Barely 
makes it. The world goes crazy. They attack him. Then they show a guy at the very same competition do some windmill 360 thing, and there's a there's a golf clap for it. Oh, it's geez. hilarious. I mean, that dude does magical <laughs> dunk. But when the girl does it, McDonald's watch stars. this. Oh, the, the, they're losing their minds for a girl that just does a basic dunk. <laughs> this dude puts up something just outrageous. That's eh, pretty much expected from the boys. All right, finally, or you got more? This one's finally. I All can't right. get the other one that he sent. So. Okay. Uh-oh, we're in the Olympics again. This is how the German coach oh, man. warms up oh, in yeah. judo. Oh, he just shook her. Yeah. And then smacked her in Before the face every twice. Match. He did a Woody Hayes. Judo. Our girls are under too much pressure. Our girl took two there you shots. Go. Keep your head on a swivel. That's on the sidelines. Oh, yeah. Get me going, yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chokes her up by the gi and then takes two left, right. Destroy front line. And she looks ready. She should take a mental health day after that. Boy, oh, boy. She's ready now. First just, comment, America is weak. America is weak. My God. <laughs> Should have done that to Simone. <laughs> no, just smack her. <laughs> That's a coach. Excuse me, Stewardess. I've got this. <laughs> I mean, it's too good, clean. But she's going into battle. So she's got to get used to, you know, taking a couple oh, yeah. shots, get that blood flow in the face. Now we'll get to the man beatboxing while playing a harmonica. Oh, okay. Jeez, save this Final for last. One. Yeah. Oof, you have to wait for when I sent you or you can't do it? I can't get that one up. I I got it. Let me see if I can get it here. All right, what's this? This is an ad. Oh. There we go. Skip. All right, here we go. He's got a... Playing a harmonica, which normally I would frown upon. Irish musician. Dan Murphy. Play a little harmonica first. Chorus. Get to the chorus. You'll get there. Dude. Oh man, that's kind of impressive. Yeah. Do that the hoop. Wait till he starts singing. <laughs> that's pretty neat. That's Tourette's. I wanted to watch Monk! Eat your veg! <laughs> That's pretty good. He's not Irish, Brady. Don't. He is. No, he is. Tyson Fury is not. Oh. Don't confuse my impression oh, with your crap because you don't know the <laughs> island. Good advice. <laughs> Stop it. Now, what's the one we were talking about earlier that you were holding off on? Oh, I sent him one Man, of a, a girl who's trying to do weightlifting and she. Continue and let me see if I can get it up. Can here. we continue? It's going forever. You guys got to load the one you had like. Anyway, I'm having a mental stress thing. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Don't feel like going on. The uh, this lady's uh, pressing. She's doing an overhead. I'm guessing seven, eight hundred pounds. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how much she's lifting. That's what I think she weighs. But she pushes it up and drops it on herself, <gasps> and it crumbles her into the ground like, a, like an aluminum can. Oh, she's fine. But it's pretty awesome to watch if Toledo can get it up. But otherwise, it's just nothing. You might as well listen to the harmonica. The, uh, guy. You think it would hurt your back? Yeah, it's a, it's it, a. Yeah. Pretty awesome video. Watch this. And she's okay, so this is the good news. You think it's 225? Sure okay? Yeah. Uh, the one time I almost killed myself is her words. Is there sound? Watch. Whoops, dropped it. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! I mean, it's a clean drop right onto her, right onto her back. How does she not break her spine? I have no idea. It's crazy. There's no sound? Uh-uh. It doesn't appear to be. Oh, that stinks. And, oh! oh I mean, it's God. all of it. The whole bar comes flat down it on her shoulder. It bounces off of her. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. Woo. Yep. And you know what she did? She got right back up and tried it again. <laughs> she didn't quit on her team. There you go. That's your Brady Report. Brought to you, Booters and Mick Ultra. It's 98K UPD. If the younger generation doesn't get into rock, then guess what? An art form has died. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast. Brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet Mesquite. Repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.